Starts with a B, would that be right? Brudeleski. Brudeleski, yes, and that is what? The dome of Fort In what period? Early Renaissance. The dome of Fort Cedro. Early Renaissance. Yes. Now, you know what? On these slides, if you put Renaissance, it's wrong. It's either early, high, or northern. Okay? Here we go. Check this one out. What is it? Yeah, Who's the artist? Uh, Gilberti. 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 Yep. Gilberti. Okay. What's the medium? And what, what kind of art is it? Release. Gates of Paradise. Who named it? Yes. Isn't that amazing? Okay. What do we call this? The tribute. Who's the artist? Masaccio. <laughs> okay. What's this? It is Chero Scuro. Chero Scuro. Okay. What's this here? Yes. What's this here? Very good. Okay. All right. What's the technique? Who's the artist? Uh, Donatello. Okay. Donatello is what? Not an Greatest, yes, not an editor. Greatest sculptor of the early Renaissance. What's the medium? Uh, and how would you describe this, David? Creepy 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 Besson or feminine, David? Okay. Who's the artist? Donatello. Donatello. Gathering energy. Okay. Greatest sculptor of the early Renaissance. All right, I'm just going to go through these really quick. This is uh, the technique demonstrated here is extreme version of foreshortening. Okay, a body moving back in space, but it's actually incorrect. Can you tell me why? Yes, exactly. And why did you think he did that? Yes, he wants to draw attention to the face, but it is reversed. But this is a very famous painting by Mantegna. We haven't talked about him, but I'm just going to show you some of these other slides that we'll be talking about. You probably know who the artist is here. Yeah, this is from Leonardo's sketchbooks. Okay, another Leonardo. Look at the facial features, because his painting, he has the same uh, what do call it? Madonna-esque look, very sweetness in the face, very unique to Da Vinci. Of course, that's pen and ink. Again, you see the same look in the face. This is, uh, again, another characteristic of the Renaissance composition is the triangle the most stable element in nature. So you just feel so good about this because of that very solid, stable shape. Okay, and this is, of course is Jesus and Mary. And you see it's an unfinished painting, the mysterious mountains in the back. Okay. Okay, again, Da Vinci, Madonna of the Rocks. We haven't talked about him yet. This is another uh, famous Da Vinci painting, a uh, girl with the ermine, I think. She's supposed to have a, an ermine in her arms. And of course, that one you know is very famous. 
The Last Supper. This is the, the amazing thing okay, about this painting is how he copied Masaccio. He used architecture <coughs> to draw attention, the vanishing point right to Jesus. And then he back lights it here like this glow. And uh, did we talk about this at all? No. No. It's in the book, though. It is okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is uh, the technique is what? What's the painting technique? Fresco. Not it. It's a fresco painting. Okay? Let me just go through. I have a few more. You're not going to be held accountable for these, but uh, obviously that's the Pieta by Michelangelo. These are Michelangelo's. That's Moses. And that one is upside down. <laughs> wow. How do you get it to go back? Sissy Chapel. Sissy Chapel in the back wall there. Uh, the Judge Bless Judge of Christ. And there's a detail. Another. No, they're not going to be in the quiz. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop right there. Okay.